So what's going on, it is me, KLV, and in today's video, I want to talk about how you can level up in this game quite quick. So now, we've got about 9 more days till the end of the season, and some of you are not level, basically, if you, some of you might not be level 100, so I want to talk about how you can get to that level 100, so you can get that extra prestige keys, and, uh, yeah. So, for starters, what you want to be doing is doing your challenges. Now, this counts as more player or zombies, but what you want to have a look at is basically your, when your near is complete. So, if you go onto your challenges you go to zombies or multiplayer this little bar at the bottom this is basically what ones that you are nearly completed so what i recommend you doing is just go into a game and just try and complete all of these because they are the nearest to complete basically completing challenges does give you xp so obviously given these ones as well battle hardened ones can give you a lot of xp as well so if you see here i nearly got this precision one this will give me 10,000 xp for basically this one will get is um, five collateral medals kill two or more enemies with a sniper single shot basically with a sniper basically and then i'll get this what will give me 10,000 xp so that's a nice little bonus xp on added to your actual game again with 10,000 here you'll get 2500 for doing this one kill an enemy with a thrown back grenade 2500 xp and you get 10,000 so that's a total of 12,500 xp right there for you so next way on how to actually level up quick is by leveling up your weapons now what you can do by this is just using say for example some ARs you don't have that are OP so these I've got most of these somewhat max rank and um, basically leveling them up will then give you XP for earning them also as well with the weapons is a getting get camos getting camos will also earn you XP so doing camos is also really good now, zombies camos are probably the most easiest to do, so if you want to level up quick, you could do it in zombies. They can get your camos quite quickly as they're quite easy. For example, a knife, you just have to get kills. Uh, then you just have to get kills with a knife against enemies who are distorted by a stun grenade. That is also really easy. You've got, you have to kill basically with a pack punch, so again, kill players with, kill zombies with a knife. Uh, kill 15 enemies with a knife against enemies who are affected by frost blasts or ring of fire. Or while you have Eve shot active in zombies so again really another, another another really easy one as well so so basically you can just fly through a lot of these you could probably get 15 kills with a knife against enemy basically with in Eve shroud you can get 15 kills with being in the Eve shroud probably so that's another really easy one basically just just try and do camos camos will give you extra XP I believe the last one so this one here the the one that's basically the last of that, of that category gives you 3000 XP. So if you do two, that is 6000 XP right there, what is going to be very nice. Also, you're going to get XP from getting gold. I believe you get 5000, I think, for getting gold. I believe you get 5000. And so that's lots more XP you can get right there. Another way of getting XP is having double XP tokens on just using the COD app. So if you didn't know, the COD app basically allows you to get extra XP so we're going to go over to the card app right now and I'm going to show you so in the card app you can actually if I can find it real quick in the card app you can join in a squad and join into a tournament now these tournaments can then sometimes give you a double XP tokens and basically just a lot of stuff so so for example this week the tournament is TDM just team deathmatch kills and the rewards are in the first place you get 60 minutes of double XP and 30 minutes of double XP. I believe the 30 minute the 60 minutes is weapon XP. Second, you got 30 minutes of double XP, and the third you get 15 minutes of double XP. I'm mainly talking about Cold War here. So that's also another thing you can do to get extra XP is have double XP tokens on. Another way is just play the game and try and get a load of kills and I'm going to do multiplayer first. I'm going to talk about multiplayer first and how you can get a lot of kills in multiplayer real quick. So, for starters, in my quick play, we have hard point and domination. They will give you the most XP as the rounds last longer, as objective based, and it's just a lot more easier than team deathmatch where you just have to get kills and you don't get as much XP. For the moment, Nuketown 24/7 is on, so I'll make sure I want to. I will recommend using that if you're playing multiplayer, if you're mainly a multiplayer person then I will recommend just playing Nuketown 24-7 as it's the smallest map, you can get domination, you can get hard point and 
yeah, it's a very small map. You can drop a load of kills. I've dropped 80 kills before, and it's not that hard. If you are using it and you just want to try and get a lot of kills, I recommend using the RPD, as the RPD is an insane weapon. It is an insane weapon. So, um, yeah, one last thing is getting operators. Now, you get a little bit of XP for unlocking operators. Uh, if you see here, if we unlock uh, Garcia, we get 2,500 XP. Now, this is in Fire Dirty Bomb. Fire team dirty bomb, detonate or help your fire team detonate five dirty bombs. You can get if you get both of these. If I get both of these, I can get a total of five thousand XP right here. Basically, two thousand five hundred each. So that's just a little bit more of extra XP. And then uh, yeah, I think that is everything. To be honest, I can't really think of any other ways I actually get an XP at the top of my head. Uh, we've talked about majority of everything. To be honest. But uh, yeah, if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure you drop a like and subscribe to the channel. It would be very much appreciated. And uh, yeah, see you guys later.